Hey guys, Nate here. Just want to do a little walk around on this uh, four foot long M8 A1 mule. Um, it's got the ammo cans on there. It's got a locking point for the, the tailgate. That way you can lock it open so it doesn't get blown around in the wind. The same thing has a locking point for the spare tire rack. Uh, it's got a four hinge lid, four hinges, it's got the shovel on there, it's got the hooks, um, it's got 6,000 pound leaf springs, two, two 3,000 pound leaf springs, LED tail lights, there's underneath, it's got Jeep OEM hubs with a three inch axle, the axle's rated at 7,000 pounds. Um, this trailer does not have brakes on it, but the brakes are easy to put on there if you want them. It's got the ammo can so you can store stuff. It's got two on each side. It's got a front fuel storage area here. This can be made higher and you can put a lid on this. Um, it's, this one has uh, a two wheel jack on it. LED ambers. Um, it's going to go four pin on this trailer. This has a two inch ball a coupler hitch. You have the yeah, D rings. This one has eight D rings, two in the back and then six in the front. It's got two hundred pounds each uh, Suspa struts. And the tent rack, this is a short tent rack because the customer wanted a short tent rack, but we can make them longer and adjustable and we can actually put more of these uh, cross pieces in there for more support. But these are regular Jeep OEM wheels. Um, and here's the spare tire mount. The spare tire mount actually goes into this hitch. You put a pin in it and that way you can... Uh, it supports the spare tire because spare tires like to really jiggle around and move so they need a little bit extra support. Uh, this also has a locking mechanism in it right here so that way you can lock it open. So that way when you're camped you can keep this stationary if you need to. It's in its own little cradle right here. It's got heavy duty half inch uh, grade 8 bolts. Alright, so I'm going to close this up. Show you what it looks like. Closed. These are the spring latches. It's got two spring latches on there. This closes up. And then we'll put the lid down. It's got padlock area here and a padlock here and then up front here I put this plate on here so in case you got to slam the brakes on the lid doesn't slide forward so this should help make it stronger you got the hooks all the way around I think 16 hooks the fenders can be located anywhere you want so depending on whatever tires you want uh, this customer wanted a, a real low profile so we put it down low you got about uh, four inches of travel in the springs so four inches till the axle hits the frame so we went down to the minimum on this trailer and this is it this is a 2017 m8 a1 mule fabricated in cave creek arizona and if you take a look at my other videos there there's There'll be one about the uh, military ammo mules. You can see a history of them. They're kind of interesting. The early ones in World War I had just the axle on the frame, no leaf springs. And then uh, you got the M, that's the M8. The M10 had no suspension either. Then not till Vietnam, 1955, did they put suspension on, and that was the M332. That's the smaller ammo mule that was pulled behind trucks. And then you have the M23, I believe, is the big one. That was pulled in tandem behind, ta behind tanks. Now, there's quite a bit of history on the 
ammo mules but this is my version of it all right check out my other videos and subscribe thank you